Hello everyone. I'm not gonna do a front facing video today, but I did wanna share with you some of the things that I'm thinking about and I'm working on. I purchased this Andrea Mowry pattern that I adored since it came out. And I had this yarn in my stash. I have two additional skeins of this. This is a Patagonia fingering weight yarn. It's not super soft, it's kind of rustic. I think it'll be great for color work um, because it's a uh, woolen spun. And these colors are very similar to these and I had more than enough. Um, but I um, didn't yet give up on this idea. So this is a pattern book I picked up on our honeymoon uh, one year in Maine. And every time we go to Maine, I think about the things that I've picked up in my travels there and I sort of revisit them, <laughs> I guess. And I, you know, I, I haven't done like a full on color work thing in a while since the yell. Every time Star Baby hears me talking, she gets involved. I have some thoughts on this uh, design. Uh, one is that if you're really familiar with cats, you might know what a tomcat is. And a tomcat is like a kind of like a feral male cat and they're very long and they kind of have big heads. And that's what these cats in the um, color work make me think of is tomcat. And I don't really like tomcats. I think that they're kind of mean and abusive and just sort of gross. Like they're really mangy and when you catch them, they drool a lot. They're just really loud and aggressive and I prefer my male outdoor cats to be neutered. So I'm like not super in love with just the idea of wearing tomcats or what I view as a tomcat, whether they are or not. Um, and so I edited this chart to be one I liked a little bit more. I basically just made their bodies a little bit shorter and gave a little bit of extra space on each side of the cat. Uh, you can see that there's fewer stitches between cats within the row. Um, and yet the rows of cats are spaced a little bit further apart than the space between each cat right to left. So I thought I'd kind of transfer some of that space over to the sides and keep it the same distance between rows. And I made this little chart and I'm not gonna do pink or green for the collar. I'm just gonna use the opposite color for the eyes and collar because I think it makes it a little bit more spooky Halloween-y. Um, so that's a project I'm thinking about casting on. I might do that for my new cast on for this trip. I have my pieced cable uh, cardigan that's sitting in that basket there. And I just don't know that that makes a good travel friendly project. So I'm thinking about casting on this cat sweater finally, which would be super wild, I think, because knitting a chart isn't the easiest thing to do in the car, but it's a lot easier than doing cables, in my opinion. Just less to think about, honestly. Um, and just that's based on my experience. You might have a different experience with cables. And because I did purchase this pattern and I still wanna make this pattern, and I have this thought that like, oh, well, Andrea lives in Maine, so it'd be nice to cast on an Andrea project while in Maine. And I've had in my stash these um, 100 grams of Brooklyn Tweed Shelter Yarn. It's a fingering-ish weight yarn. And I have picked up, I think on my birthday weekend this year, uh, Le Petite Lambswool by Biche and Bouche. And I have four skeins of this, but I'm thinking about knitting. This is more than enough. And this is enough yarn, I'm sure, to make it a full size um, sleeve instead of the three quarter length sleeve. And because I have extra, uh, of the main color. I might make this a cardigan if the yoke translates well to a cardigan. I'm not sure, just given the nature of the increases, how that might appear, but something I'm thinking about in modifying this pattern. I wonder what your thoughts are, or if you've knit the even fall pattern, if you would consider making it a cardigan. So those are projects I'm thinking about making. I'm really not sure. Please don't destroy my book. 